this particular rocket mass heater is an amazing rocket mass heater. This may possibly be the rocketiest rocket mass heater that it exists so far. It's very forgiving to first time users. It is an eight inch system and uh, the fire goes in here. Um, it's a pretty small wood feed and the wood just stands vertically in here. The fire burns sideways at the bottom, goes up into an insulated riser that's inside of it, goes down the sides of the barrels, and then it goes through the mass and then up and out the roof. We heated our home last winter with 0 0.60 cords of wood. And we kept the average temperature at about probably 69 degrees. Uh, a lot of times we'd go to bed, it was 72 and we'd have a little fire. We'd wake up in the morning and it's 69. The mass radiates the heat out for days. And a lot of times we would have a fire and then we wouldn't have another fire until two days later. And it was freezing at night. So this has proven to be an exceptionally powerful rocket mass heater, very efficient system. This rocket mass heater sports a different aesthetic. This is a pebble style rocket mass heater. Most of our rocket mass heaters are cob style. Um, a pebble style is usually built in half the time, sometimes a third of the time of building a cob style rocket mass heater because making cob is slow. And we were shooting for a different aesthetic in a lot of different ways. So this has got uh, uh, granite slabs on the top and a wood bench underneath. Uh, our, our barrel is uh, stainless steel and of course with a rocket mass heater, you don't have to use a barrel. You can use all kinds of different things right here. But we do need to get that insulated chimney to come up in the middle, and then we need to route the heat down inside of the mass somehow. And a barrel is just real convenient shape. Um, this barrel I was able to get off of eBay for 200 bucks. The system burns super hot, and at the same time, uh, and this is the magic of most rocket mass heaters, the heat that goes up this is usually about 110 to 120 degrees, as opposed to a conventional wood stove, which is usually 350 to 600 degrees. So we're keeping a lot of heat in the bench, in the mass. I, I think a great use of a rocket mass heater is that you can sit up one of these lovely drying racks and it really does a great job drying your clothes. And, and that's saving energy. If people try to talk to you about light bulbs, I don't think you should talk about light bulbs and saving energy until you've uh, found a better way to stop using your clothes dryer. And uh, here on a rocket mass heater is a great place. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Mm -hmm.